All right, now that we're well fed, uh, the cave in question we are going into is just south of the uh, snow mountains. Um, from my crash site, it is uh, northeast. Uh, and from the where the, we got the rebreather, the rebreather and the stun gun down there, and it is to the northwest of where we found the uh, the rope gun. So yeah, let's go in here and see what we can find. Now, upon entering this cave, I did find a. Uh, air tank for the rebreather, so it's probably safe to assume that you'll need to go underwater here, so you'll probably need the rebreather before you come in here. Probably one of the most aggravating things to me is the uh, how slow it is to get into your menu and use your menu items. As opposed to the last game. Or menu items, your, um, your inventory items. I hear a lot of movement down here. A couple more pill bottles. I'm gonna follow the lights. I'm gonna try to, assuming these guys don't keep getting in my way. So we're going to the right, opening into another big cavern. Couple of grenades there. Keep going down this way. There's a couple of babies here. I get a moment of peace, I will try to heal. I think finding moments where you have... Alright, we're back underwater again. I assume this is probably the right direction. I love that our lighter still works under here. Dip past those guys. I see lights up ahead, so a lot of lights up ahead. I got a shovel. All right, so this is where you get the shovel. Uh, and we're dead. Um, 
So, so upon upon reaching the back end of this cave and clearing out everything, I've come to the the conclusion that there is nothing else in this cave. Um, so I'm now going to show you how to get out of the cave, um, assuming uh, you didn't just die and left because there was nothing else here. So, uh, turning back around, hold on, so I put this uh. Probably put this gun away and pull out a weapon. Well, not that a gun isn't a weapon, but uh, that gun isn't a weapon. back up here avoid all of these big guys because they will clap you up real quick once you get to the bottom of the slip and slide there's this this wall right here right so you can do it one of two ways you can either use a grenade or you can use one of these i'm just gonna use one of these you do have to blow this thing up so but there's tons of great things. You should, you should definitely have a grenade. And there's a couple grenades right here, actually, in these chests. Um, I think chests are kind of RNG, what you're going to get when you open it. But, yeah, I got, I got a couple. A couple grenades. You can get out, so after you blow that thing, at the end of this tunnel, there's the exit. And that is how you get the shovel. And uh, a bunch of babies here. By the way, spear is overpowered. I would highly suggest getting one made. Two sticks and uh, some rope and a knife. Or not a rope, sorry. Two sticks, tape, and a knife, and you get yourself a spear. Very good. Stun locks enemies fairly easily. Um, that's how I managed to get out of here. So yeah, you just come down here, drop down the hole. And that's the, here's the exit, and that's that's the shovel. So, yep. Yeah. Thanks for uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll let you guys know if I find something else in another cave.